Every investor wants quick returns, even in poultry. But is it better to grow your layers from day-old chicks or invest directly in point-of-lay birds? This is a question that many farmers and aspiring poultry entrepreneurs face, and the choice you make can have a huge impact on both your profits and the amount of work required. Today, we're going to explore both options in detail and take a close look at the numbers using a powerful tool called the Poultry Pro Planner. Before we jump into the projections, it's important to understand the differences between these two options. Day-old chicks are tiny and delicate at first, and raising them successfully requires careful attention from day one. On the other hand, point-of-lay pullets are already mature hens ready to start laying eggs, usually sold around week 16 to week 20. They simplify the startup process and allow for quicker income, but the trade-off is that you inherit any previous issues. Choosing between day-old chicks and point-of-lay pullets isn't just about cost, it's about matching your resources, experience and patience with your investment goals. Some farmers prioritize quick returns and minimal work, while others are willing to invest more time and effort for larger long-term gains. In this video, we'll examine both options, explore their risks and benefits, and then use the Poultry Pro Planner to project exactly what to expect for each. This way you can make an informed decision backed by real data, rather than guessing or relying solely on experience. Raising day-old chicks requires careful attention from the very beginning. These tiny birds are vulnerable in their first few weeks, and any mistakes in feeding, temperature or vaccination can lead to high mortality or affect their growth and productivity later on. But managing them from day one gives you control over their development, including the feed they receive, their health care, and the environment they grow in. With careful management, you can reduce risks and set the foundation for strong, productive layers that perform well over time. Point of lay pullets, on the other hand, may seem simpler because they are already mature and ready to lay eggs. However, they come with their own risks that are always hidden at first. Some birds may have been poorly raised, given low quality feed, inadequately vaccinated or exposed to diseases, all of which can reduce their egg production and affect your profitability. Some ill-minded people may even decide to sell them after realizing the birds are sick and won't perform well in the future. That's why it's very important to buy from a trusted supplier. Another challenge with point-of-lay pullets is availability as they are often hard to find. While they allow you to start earning sooner, you also inherit these risks, which can sometimes result in unexpected costs or lower returns. Understanding these risks is crucial because they affect not only your profits but also the daily work and planning involved in running your farm. Managing day-old chicks requires more time and attention but gives you greater control over the results, while point-of-lay birds reduce early-stage workload yet come with hidden uncertainties. Now, let's look at which option is more profitable, starting with day-old chicks. I'm going to use Pro Planner for day-old layer chickens to project the potential profits. Let's move from theory to reality and see what the actual performance looks like in practice. When you open the Pro Planner file, the first step is to enter your flock details in the dashboard. For example, if you're starting with 500 day-old layer birds, you type in the number of birds, feed prices, the cost of each day-old chick, egg tray price, labor costs, monthly miscellaneous costs, eggs per tray, price of mature chickens commonly known as off-layers, and monthly health expenses like vaccines, medicines, and disinfectants, etc. As soon as this information is entered, the planner automatically updates the rest of the workbook, showing how to set up the structure and equipment, giving a clear view of daily needs, expected egg production, and potential revenue and profit. The summary sheet shows everything from day one up to week 80, including total expenses, revenue, and net profit. It also highlights the break-even day, the exact day when all startup costs are recovered, and every gain after that counts toward net profit. Based on the information entered, the planner projects a percentage profit of 52%, which means that for every $100 invested in day-old chicks, you can expect $52 as profit over the 80-week period. It provides a clear picture from day 1 up to week 80, showing you not just what's possible, but what's realistic under proper management. For point-of-lay pullets, the process is similar. After entering the relevant data in the Pro Planner dashboard for point-of-lay pullets, it automatically calculates all expenses, revenue, and projected outcomes. According to the information provided, it projects a percentage profit of 30%, 
This percentage can change depending on the data you enter. For example, if the price of point of lay birds is reduced, the projected profit increases, and the same applies to other costs entered in the dashboard. Looking at both sets of projections makes it easier to understand how different approaches can affect your expected returns and the potential outcomes of each investment, while keeping in mind the risks and management requirements for each option. Understanding these insights helps you make a better decision. Choosing day-old chicks is good if you are ready to spend more time and effort for higher long-term profits. Point-of-lay pullets may be better if you want to start earning sooner with less early work, but you need to accept the hidden risks that come with their past conditions. By looking at both the profit projections and the practical risks, you can pick the option that fits your resources, goals, and comfort with risk, giving you a clearer path to success on your farm. In conclusion, deciding between day-old chicks and point-of-lay pullets depends on your goals, resources, and willingness to manage risks. Day-old chicks demand more attention and care, especially in the early weeks, but they offer greater control over growth and health, which can lead to higher long-term profitability. Point-of-lay pullets reduce the initial workload and start generating income sooner, but they come with hidden risks that may affect performance and returns. Whichever option you choose, planning carefully and monitoring your flock consistently is key to achieving the projected outcomes. The projections provide a realistic view of what to expect, but success ultimately depends on your decisions, attention to detail, and ability to respond to challenges as they arise. Taking the time to understand these factors before investing ensures that your poultry venture is both profitable and sustainable, giving you confidence in the path you've chosen. Which one would you choose for your next investment, day-old chicks or point-of-lay pullets? Personally, I would go for day-old chicks. The reason is simple. They offer better long-term returns and give you full control over how the birds are raised right from the start. With proper management, you can ensure their health, productivity and profitability rather than relying on how someone else raised them. If you'd like to plan your own project and see your expected costs, revenue and profits before you even start, just like we did here, you can get your own copy of the Poultry Pro Planner. The download link is in the description below. This toolkit doesn't just help you project profit, it also helps you monitor flock performance daily, plan your structure and equipment, and stay organized throughout the production cycle. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more practical poultry insights. Before you go, if you've ever thought about reducing your feed costs, which take up more than 60% of total production expenses, then listen closely. I've discovered a proven method that can cut your feed cost by up to 50% without compromising on quality. Now, don't make the common mistake of trying to save money by cutting corners or using poor quality feed. That only leads to bigger losses in the long run. If you want to learn this safe and effective approach, just click on the next video appearing on your screen. I'll see you there.